It's Friday, and that means it's time for Friday Follies. And for that, we turn to Fox News analyst Raymond Arroyo. Raymond, um, there was a very big birthday this week, and it wasn't our friend Chris Edwards. No, it wasn't Barack Obama's. Who was it? No, neither of them. It was the Princess of Montecito. Meghan Markle marked her 40th birthday by jumping on a totally impromptu Zoom call, or like this show, all on the fly, you just make it up as it happens, yeah. with her pal, comedian Melissa McCarthy. Now, note the Oprah chic backdrop, the hair and makeup. This is like the buddy birthday movie you never asked for. It's my 40th birthday, and I've got an idea. This will probably seem better for you. Okay. What about an afternoon tea with your chickens? Is it okay if I still do it in the hat? I wouldn't expect anything less. Thanks, friend. Bye, friend. Cheers. Mm. She's a great what actress. What is most galling about this, Laura, is the fake royal routine. Never has anyone publicly decried an institution like the royal family while trying to assume its trappings for profit and attention like Meghan Markle has. She's the Eva Peron of Santa Barbara. And her 40 times 40 initiative, you'll love this, it asks 40 of her celebrity friends, because it's her 40th birthday, to give 40 minutes to mentor oh. women so they can go back to work. All mm. this while she sits at home in Montecito while the nanny cares for Archie and Louie. Oh, so ouch. Must be nice. Now, Raymond, wasn't she an actress at one time? Is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah. She, was, yeah, on Suits. But, she was on that show, Suits. But this is just another excuse for brand building. And, you know, these women in the inner city, I know people, nuns and priests and people who work in social service, they're with the people who need help. They don't need 40 minutes with a celebrity. Yeah. They need time, not a TED talk, okay? They need real mentors. So this stuff about we're helping women get back to work, I mean, you got to shake your head, particularly when it's people like Adele, Justin Trudeau, and Ibram Kendi. How much time are they going to give a woman in downtown New Orleans looking for work? You I, tell I know me. What he, I know what Ibram Kendi will recommend. Okay, if, if you want a good job and then to keep it, make sure you keep reemphasizing how racist the work environment is. <laughs> okay, that's Ibram mm. Kendi's recommendation. Well, what else do we have? Laura, the most embarrassing part of this video was at the conclusion. Look out the window here. No, see, I don't really think that tea with the chickens is what we oh have in mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is Harry. That is Harry, who apparently has transitioned from Royal Highness to Royal Court Fool, gesture. showing off his juggling skills out the window. Yeah, I guess if the Netflix Court deal gesture. goes south, he can always land a job at the England Pavilion at Bush Gardens. You know, he'll just be juggling in the corner. Mm, it's, they're so funny. Are they bringing comedy <laughs> to Netflix or whatever? Well, no. it, well. It, it, after considering their one podcast that they got $40 million for, this might be a step up. At least you get a little entertainment. Laura, how much time are you going to uh, promise Megan uh, to mentor people? You could start I'm, with mentoring I'm, me. I'm waiting for that um, invitation, Raymond. And I'm, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I have, I well, have Laura, my dogs out the window. They're going to be knocking on the door. <laughs> They'll be juggling soon. Exactly. The skies are getting a lot less friendly, Laura. A Frontier Airlines passenger, Maxwell Berry, had a bit too much to drink, and he is accused of groping and wow. hitting flight attendants while in air. They reacted this way. I love the mm. tape. I love they break out the tape. Well, what else are you going to do? Well, it seems a little excessive with the tape, but I guess if they keep running their mouth uh, while the whole flight is going on, I mean, what else are you going to do? Is stick a sock in it? I well, mean, I guess the. And, and, well, Frontier Airlines, they suspended this crew initially, Laura. These are the heroes of the airway. These poor people put up with so oh, much no, crap. Oh, awful. You know, where's an air marshal when you need one? But here's the thing. I looked this up today. The FDA has had 3,715 complaints of unruly passengers like this guy, and they're now charging people a violation fee of $35,000. So next time you want to tip back a few too many in first class, don't. 
Raymond, was it the FDA or was it the FAA? Was the FDA the F now the regulating the uh, airlines too? I think it's the FAA. It's Friday. Okay. All the acronyms kind of blend into one. I always have to be one. there to stab it to me. I have a solution here, though, Ingram. I have a solution. They need more emotional support animals, I think, in the in the airways. Maybe we could start with a python or a hungry lion for people like mm. this guy. Uh, there, there is a term uh, that has come into vogue now, Laura, and I want to get your reaction to this. When describing Hispanics, people use this term. More than 60 percent of Latinx Americans. Black and Latinx residents. It's awful hard as well to get Latinx vaccinated <laughs> as well. <laughs> now, when certain parties used this term, it sounded a little bit different. After its main graduation, it is holding ceremonies for Native Asian Latinx and Black students at the end of April. <laughs> oh, whether well, Latinx or Latinx, most Hispanic Americans agree with me, Laura. No nos gusto. <laughs> uh, a, new, a new Gallup poll finds that 38 percent of Hispanics prefer the term Hispanic or Latino. See, I thought Latinx was kind of a—I liked Latinx. It was kind of was—it was exotic. I, I, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. Sphinx, Latinx. Minx, no, I don't, I don't, know, but... I don't like the Latin. We don't have I Italian X or Caucasian X. Why do we have Latin X? It's it's, uh, it's liberals offensive. always liberals uh, always screw it up. All right, quickly, what's the last thing? Well, before we go, uh, we have a freestyle and Biden alert. Watch. Joe, where are you? Come here. <laughs> Places that have offered the hundred thousand, the hundred thousand, a hundred dollars. That'd be really good. I'd go back and get vaccinated three times. <laughs> but all kidding aside, offered the hundred dollars to get vaccination, have seen an uptick of 25 percent in a daily vaccination rates. A pandemic, the AH, the AA, NI, NH, and PI community. I stumble over myself here. How is this any different from his other appearances, Laura? He always stumbles over himself. I, I, and I'm not kidding here. Uh, in all seriousness, uh, I'm not kidding. It's no joke. I, I, I mean, Poor someone sir. has to put a rest to that aside by Joe Biden. N number one, it's never funny and it's tedious, okay? All kidding no. aside, Raymond. All right, have a great weekend, Raymond. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.